Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to do part two of, of my bow bracket. So, let's get started. Okay, so to pick it up from where I left off, I'm gonna start out by tacking up the bracket. I, I just closed up the gap with a vice grip and then tapped it around. I'm TIG welding it with ER70 OS 6. I uh, chose to TIG weld it because TIG welding comes off on camera a little bit better than MIG welding. So next I clamp the bracket to my table and I grind it with a 5 inch zirconium disc. Side note, something I really miss uh, since I lost my hand is being able to grind something without having to clamp it down to the table first. Next thing I do is lay out the profile on a piece of grid paper. I'm just going to do a parallel offset, so everything on this layout is a true length line. Next I break out the CAD, and just start off with drawing a straight line and then an approximate radius from the grid paper. Next thing I do is I break out the protractor, measure the amount of that angle, it looks to be about 15 degrees. Next I explode that line and rotate it around, then trim the arc and then just do a 5 8 offset. Then I do a parallel offset there to extend off that length 5 8 of an inch and then I radius my corners. Do the same thing on the other end. So then I do a polyline edit, yes join. Now the drawing's all one piece. Then I do a break trim at the corner and extend to give me my lead in and lead out. Then I rotate the drawing and put it down to a 0 0 origin and then save it as a DXF and put it over on the plasma cutter. Next I just find an open area on the sheet, line it up, push go, easy as that. So now I do a little grinding and cleaning it up and then I start tacking it on to the rest of the hand bracket. Like I said it's just a parallel offset so everything just stays flat. Probably didn't have to weld the whole thing well, I figured while I was there it might make for some good footage. Next is the first of many times putting putting the bracket on and taking it off of the bow. Now I'm establishing a, a reference point of where the socket actually matches up to the bracket so I can transfer some holes. I just drill the holes into the socket And next I'm taking uh, T-nuts and I flatten out the little spikes and that's what I use on the inside of the socket. I'm trying to bolt the socket to something. And then I start bolting it onto the bracket. I found that it was much easier if I took the bracket off of the bow when I was trying to bolt this thing together and then finding out my rotation points to see where everything really lined up. So I finally got all the holes to line up, and now I'm just bolting it all together. The whole process for this took a couple hours, but it turned out pretty nice. So there we are, and now I'm just doing the final assembly onto the bow. That was a struggle, getting that all bolted in there, but look at that, that is, that is some really good control off of my bow. So, have to reset my overdraw, put back my little brace, but I think that's going to work out. So, yeah, yeah, that's going to work out really good. I hope this inspires somebody that if they're finding themselves part of the Missing Parts Club all of a sudden and they still really enjoy doing something, to go ahead and, and 
take the steps to regain that as uh, an ability and a function. You know, it may take a little bit of effort, but you know, if it really improves your life, hey, how much the better. So anyways, there it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching.